What is going on everybody and welcome on into the Stock Trends channel. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we are talking about ticker symbol FAMI. In this video, we're going to do a quick technical analysis, what to watch out for, what to be paying attention to. And again, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like always, we'll leave links, resources down below in the description box. Other two channels, tip ranks this platform right here as well as we will trade these stocks and we can trade these stocks from 4 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. So full extended hours trading. All right, guys, so it is FAMI. We noticed that this stock has kind of have some weird chart action. Let's take a look at our chart over on Weeble and let's talk about what is going on. So this is what we call a micro penny. Um, not everyone calls it a micro penny, but we can call it a micro penny because it is a stock that is below $1. So a lot of penny stocks we generally classify in that $1 to $5 range or under $5. They're low float stocks, stocks that have, let's say, less than 100, let's say 100, 200 million float, which is the amount of shares available to the public to trade. They are stocks that generally can move pretty fast. And, you know, these are stocks that are pretty volatile, right? Ultimately, right, they can go up 5, 10, 100, 200. Some stocks can go up more than 200% in one day, depending upon news or momentum. And they can also come down, they can do offerings, reverse stock splits and all that type of stuff. So here's FAMI. I want to point this out to your attention. This stock recently popped on up. And this is a stock that is kind of going almost in sympathy in a sense to CEI. Now, it's not a sympathy to CEI in terms of what they do, sector, all that stuff, but it's a stock that is sub $1. And so these pennies, these micro pennies, many times they all start to pick up at some point during the year. And it seems like they go one by one. And a lot of them kind of go one by one. And this stock started to push up. We started to see it. We look back to the left. They had a gap right here all the way up to about 80 cents or so. It started to push up. We thought, okay, it's gonna fill the gap and go up to a dollar. And then it ended up, they did an offering. The offering comes in, I think the offering was priced in the 20 cent range, 22 cents, something like that, 25 cents. And the stock fell back off just under 20 cents. Notice this candle right here. The day it fell under 20, it wicked down and then it recovered and actually closed over 20. So it was a quick little flush out, hit everyone's stop loss who had their stop loss below that 20 cent level. And then the next three days, boom, 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 it has been pushing on up. Actually, take a look at this. Ever since it dropped below that 20 cent level, the stock has pushed up over 80%. Actually, it's up over 100% because right now in pre-market, it's up around 43 cents. So this stock is up well over 100% from those lows. Now, okay, you may think, you know, okay, 100%, that's a crazy move, right? Will it come down? Well, here's the thing. The stock is still under 50 cents. So a lot of traders see this as a, just a cheap opportunity, a cheap stock. And a lot of retail traders, sometimes they're late to the party and they'll just think that this can keep going and they'll keep buying and buying. And maybe it keeps going, but eventually, right, you have to be careful of the history of this company, right? Offerings, reverse splits. We have to make sure we're aware of that. So you want to make sure you have your risk in line. Okay. Now let's talk about what's going on right now. So let's look at the one hour chart. This stock was literally 22 cents yesterday and pushed up. And so far in pre-market has hit highs of 49.50. Wild. Let's look at the five minute chart here. Look at this, continuing to put in higher lows across the board. Now, there are areas to watch as resistance. I'm gonna draw a line right now in the sand here, 50 cents. It's a very strong area of resistance in stocks that are trading below 50 cents. Let's draw a line right there. So it needs to clear over that pre-market high and then 50 cents. Now, if that 50 cent level gets cleared, what's next? Well, looking at the daily chart, what do we hit up to last time? We actually hit up to, looks like about 60 cents was the last run. So 60 cents will be the next area of resistance. And then look back to the left again. What was this high back in June? That was about 67, 68 cents. Let's draw a line right there. Then we have this gap, which just so happens to line up very, very nice with the 200 SMA right here, 200 simple moving average or MA 200 here on Weeble. So these are the areas that I'd be looking at as areas to take profits if you're already in or looking to trade this stock as areas of resistance back to the upside. So we have 50 cents. We have the high from a couple weeks ago. That's around 60 cents. Then we have this level right here, which was the high from June, 66 cents actually. Then we have the 200 SMA, which is the gap fill from the offering I believe that we saw back in the spring. And that would put you up around 79 to 80 cents. Beyond that, you're looking at $1, the strongest resistance in penny stocks that trade below $1. 
that is an area to watch. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. Like always, appreciate you guys for tuning on in. Again, links and resources as well as even a technical analysis course also down below. Always there if you're ever interested. Two free stocks with Weeble. Link in the pinned comment in the description box. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.